Karina from the Chicopee Public Library Kids Room, and welcome to STEAM at Home, where we bring our STEAM club into your house. Today we're going to be doing a project called Binary Beats. We will learn how we can translate the language of computers into letters, and we'll even make some jewelry with them. So first the question is, what is binary? Binary is the language of computers. It uses a series of ones and zeros in sequences that form words the way that we think of them. So each letter is a unique sequence of ones and zeros. This key will show us what sequences for each letter so that we can see to say the letter A, a computer would translate it into 01000001. That's a pretty long way to just say A. So what is our project that we'll be doing? We can use this code to make a cool piece of jewelry with. Take a look at this second key here. It, instead of using zeros and ones, translates each zero and one to a box that is either black or white. So now we just, instead of zeros and ones, have these colored squares. What we will do is the same thing, except instead of colored squares, we're gonna use beads. So what we have is red beads and white beads to represent our zeros and ones or our black and white squares. So now, instead of zeros and ones or black and white, we have this, which is how you can see the letter A in our bead colors. So once we understand this code that we use, we can create different sequences, different combinations to spell out all sorts of different words that you can read by looking just at the sequence you've made. Hold on, you might say, I see in my kit here that I have these black beads. Why do we have those? Good question. We've included this third color to act as a spacer. So this way it can be easier to differentiate between letters so you can see easily when one letter ends like we have in this example. Or if you're doing this project and making whole sentences, it's a good idea to put your spacer in between words so it's easy for someone looking to see where each word ends. You can use them in this example, but you don't have to. The beads included in this packet are specifically the right number to spell out the word read, R-E-A-D. But with this number of combinations, you might be able to write some other words. All right, folks, thanks for watching Steam at Home. We hope you enjoyed this project and keep an eye out for our next one in two weeks. You can find more information on the Chickpea Public Library website, on our Facebook page, or you can always give us a call. All right, folks, until next time.